Hi, everybody. Welcome to another Chats with Children. I hope you're safe and well. Today, I'm delighted to be joined by Christian Jones, who is the Chief Commercial Officer at Nanoform. And today, we are previewing DCAT Week, which runs on March the 21st to 24th uh, on New York City. And I've got this from their website, so forgive me, I'm just going to read it out exactly. DCAT Week is the premier global event held each year in New York City for companies engaged in biopharmaceutical manufacturing value chain. So, Christian, I'm glad we've got into themes. You've got your New York background and I've got my Yankees jersey behind me. So just we've got that theme in for DCAT. It's lovely to see you. How are you, first of all? Very well, thanks, Rizwan. And uh, nice to uh, nice to catch up with you today. It is. It's lovely to see you too as well. I hope you've had a good start to the year. Um, where are you calling in from? Uh, from Cambridge, uh, UK, uh, despite the background. Uh, <laughs> yes, that's, that's where I'm located. And uh um, this, and the rest of the company is in Helsinki um, uh, in, in Finland. Brilliant. Well, that actually leads nicely to my very first question, actually. Before we start talking about DK and what you're going to be doing there, would you mind giving viewers a very quick overview of Nanoform? Of course, yeah. Um, so Nanoform is a nanoparticle medicine enabling company. And we have a proprietary technology called CES, which stands for Controlled Expansion of Supercritical Solutions. And we use that technology to make nanoparticles of APIs um, to help increase the solubility and bioavailability of drug molecules. Um, the technology was um, spun out from the University of Helsinki and the company was founded in 2015. Um, and then real commercialization of the technology happened in late 2018, early 2019, when I and, and many others joined uh, the organization. At that time, there were only sort of 18 to 20 people um, and now we're at over 120 people, um, you know, just less than three years later. Uh, we've achieved, I say, a lot in that time. We've become a publicly listed company um, in both uh, Stockholm and in Helsinki um, on, the, uh, on the NASDAQ First North Premier Markets. Um, and we've grown not only in our terms of our capabilities internally for drug substance, uh, GMP uh, capabilities for nanoforming, We've also um, been able to increase uh, our, our talented uh, pool of, uh, of colleagues. And uh, I would say Nanoform is a uh, physics company first and foremost, um, looking to address the challenges of the pharma industry in terms of chemistry and biology in the way that drugs are delivered to patients. Um, but we're also supported by, um, by talent and expertise in manufacturing, in formulation science, in chemistry and biology. Um, and in computer science. So it's a very interesting company to be part of and a uh, very exciting uh, uh, company to when we're working with our with our partners and their interesting molecules. Brilliant, thank you for giving me that overview. Um, so let's talk about DCAT. I've never actually had the pleasure of being to DCAT. So perhaps you give you as, um, an overview of why you and the team are attending DCAT and why it's so important. Yeah, well, I think first and foremost, um, America is important to us as a company. Uh, we very much have our eyes set on the US um, and the US market. It's the number one market for the pharma industry. Um, and so Nanoform has, you know, has big ambitions in that space. Um, we, we have a growing client base in the US and we have a great uh, client base as well in Europe. Those have been the two markets that we focused on uh, predominantly. Um, but we're attending DCAT because it's, um, I would say, a, a, a senior um, uh, networking event um, for like-minded individuals in the outsourcing space for um, uh, development and manufacturing of pharmaceuticals. Um, it's, it's to meet those key players in the industry, to discuss collaboration, to talk about ongoing projects, um, and to further uh, advance and expose Nanoforms technology to the industry. Um, and also, whilst we're there, you know, we want to talk about some exciting news around our GMP expansions too. All right. Well, I'll make sure to ask you about that a little bit later, actually. So let's talk about what you will actually be discussing at the event itself. Um, well, I guess many life-changing drugs fail to reach um, patients or, 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 or fail to get delivered or developed appropriately. And so, you know, Nanoform's mission is to try to touch the lives of a billion patients. Um, and we want to, to do that by um, using our technology with our partners um, to increase the solubility and bioavailability, reduce clinical attrition. Um, so ultimately that's one of our, uh, I guess our focuses. 
I mentioned about the CES technology um, and, uh, and what it can achieve. We can make nanoparticles of APIs as small as 10 nanometers. Um, and we do it from solution to particle. So it's a bottom up approach. So it's not top down. And that you know, enables us to make very stable materials. And um, we make the material in a dry form. So it also opens up a whole area of opportunity for the way that you can then formulate um, that drug. So you know, other means of making small particles often are a top down approach, micronization, milling, um, but you only get so far. And then there were previous technologies uh, like nano milling, but again, you're limited by the size that you can go down to maybe 150 to 200 nanometers. And also you make the material in a liquid and it's very hard to isolate that material then to put into a tablet. Um, so our technology, one of the beauties of it is we make dry nanoparticles and you can put them in any dosage form that you like. And from our perspective, we believe that small is an ingredient in formulation. So, you know, we're looking to try to enable novel formulations, um, help our partners develop unique IP, um, also uh, ultimately create patient benefit um, through, through small as an ingredient. And that can open up lots of different drug delivery opportunities. Um, so we've been talking to partners about ophthalmic uh, presentations how nanoparticles could be beneficial as a, as a suspension or as an ophthalmic implant um, to the eye to help uh, not to blur the vision like a micron sized particle may, um, not to be abrasive as a micron sized particle might be, um, but to get a slow penetration to the back of the eye. You know, we're looking at and working on projects where um, we've, we've looked at respiratory drug delivery right. using nanoparticles to get access to the deep lung reduced dosage of, uh, of steroids um, and have less um, side effects associated and make, make, make medicines safer for patients. Um, but we're looking at the unexplored, trying to, um, trying to push the boundaries of science with our partners um, and trying to develop the next generation um, of medicines using um, uh, small nanoparticles. So Christian, you mentioned uh, your GMP expansion. So could you talk a bit more about that? Of course. Um, so we currently have a GMP capability. Um, we have one uh, dedicated GMP suite and uh, we've taken our own material, uh, Peroxicam, through that and done our, done our own clinical study to prove the value of the technology. Um, and, we take, and we're also working with partners um, who have GMP projects within that facility. And our current capability at Nanoform is down to what we would classify as safe bridge category three, um, down to about one microgram per meters cubed OEL. Um, but this new capability coming online is going to take us down to 30 nanograms per meter cubed OEL, um, which gives us a much uh, broader range of products that we can work on uh, in the highly potent space. Mm. And we're really excited about this because not only are we tripling our GMP capability, um, we're also, as we've developed the technology, we're always upgrading our technology and, and um, finding ways to improve it. So this new, these new suites, together with the existing suite, will be upgraded. Um, we have um, this new high potent capability that we're offering. Um, and uh, we also have our own GMP analytical capability that we're adding in as well. Um, so, you know, none of our services should need to be outsourced from an analytical perspective. So we provide a complete offering to our partners. Um, the first GMP suite has been approved uh, by the Finnish Medicines Agency uh, and will be inspected by them shortly for these two new uh, facilities that are coming online uh, by the end of this year, 2022. Um, and I think when you uh, look at the market and the complexity of drugs, solubility is increasing, uh, sorry, de decreasing as drugs become more complex. Sure. Um, but also, you know, a lot of the, uh, the products becoming more potent. So um, as, as, as the high potency market increases with a lot of focus on areas like oncology, for example, um, the need for manufacturing assets that can meet those demands uh, is really important. Um, so, you know, we, we, we understand the market, we understand where our technology can add value, um, and we want to make sure that we can service as much of the market as possible and help as many patients as possible, uh, and ultimately uh, try to serve our ambition um, to touch the lives of a billion patients. 
Brilliant. That's really exciting news, Chris. I wish you well with that. Uh, so let's go back to DCAT week itself. What activities will you be running and participate, participating in during the week? So um, we have a suite at the, uh, the Benjamin Hotel. Uh, we'll hold most of our meetings there um, or visit uh, partners at their suites. Um, and uh, we'll be attending in the, the regular networking meetings. Um, the, I think there's a pharma industry outlook meeting that we will be there at, uh, as well as other talks. Um, and we'll be at the DCAT dinner um, with, our, with our existing partners and, and, and maybe even meet some new clients as well. Um, so that's the, that's the goal. Um, we'll be in the Big Apple, where big is beautiful, and uh, pr uh, pushing our technology where small is powerful. <laughs> Fantastic. What a great slogan that is. Well, thank you for getting that in. Uh, now, for those people who can't make it to New York for DCAT Week, how else can they get in touch with a Nanoform and find out more about what you're doing? Um, visit the website. Uh, that'll probably be the first port of call at www.nanoform.com. Um, and uh, if you want to reach out to me directly, uh, feel free to do that. It's christian.jones at nanoform.com. Um, and our, all our contact details are on the website. So um, if uh, if you haven't followed us on LinkedIn, please do. Um, we put lots of in, 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 interesting uh, industry insights there, as well as our own uh, uh, capabilities and, uh, uh, and talking points. So um, yeah, follow us and, uh, and, and like us and look forward to um, uh, to meeting with any interested parties soon. Fantastic. Well, there you go, viewers. If you'd like to know more about what Nanoform are doing at DCAT, then check out the website. But if you're at DCAT, obviously connect with Christian and the team and find out more about what they're doing. It really is interesting stuff. And, you know, as I said, you've got the whole week to catch up with them there. Um, Christian, all that stuff me says, I wish you a fantastic DCAT week. I'm very jealous I'm not going to be in New York for the event, but I hope you have a fantastic time. Thank you very much, Rizan. Pleasure. And and, uh, and also, obviously, a fantastic 2022 as well. So thank you very much, viewers, for watching. I hope you found that interesting. As I said, check out uh, Nanoform at DCAT if you're there uh, in New York in a couple of weeks' time. And if you're not, then check out the website. And until next time, as always, stay well and stay safe. Bye-bye.